Once they were known as rugged, dependable work pants. Now they're a fashion staple. Hattie Dijamal looks at the surprisingly riveting history of blue jeans in America. Denim, like so many American icons, has a history that's woven into the fabric of our culture. Jeans are the most quintessential American garment. They're, you know, it's like apple pie or something or baseball. Annalie Strachan, who directed the New American Experience documentary, Riveted, the history of jeans, shares the well-worn history of our favorite garment. Starting with the beginning of blue jeans back in 1855. Everyone thinks of Levi Strauss when you think about jeans. Well, actually, it's, it's a lot more to it than just Levi Strauss. It's true that the Bavarian immigrant set up shop and started selling jeans during the gold rush, but it was his partner, Jacob Davis, who came up with the rivet that made them more durable. The rivet was a game changer. The two of them got together, put rivets on the pants, and it just changed the world because it gave the pants this level of strength that was just never there before. The added ruggedness made the waist-high overalls, as they were known, fly off the shelves. Next up, turns out that deep blue color we all love was born out of practicality. Blue is great at hiding dirt, so blue was used a lot like in 16th and 17th century workwear. That blue color comes from the indigo plant, which became a major cash crop in colonial times. Indigo was the second cash crop behind rice in South Carolina, and on the eve of the American Revolution, more than a million pounds of indigo was being shipped overseas. An enterprising 19-year-old Eliza Lucas took advantage of the world's desire for this plant to become known as the queen of indigo. But that success story has a grim underside. What's not told in the story is her 20 West African slaves were the ones who very likely had the knowledge to actually make the indigo and dye the clothes. We'll wrap up with blue jeans becoming mainstream thanks to dude ranches that attracted curious women. They started offering like cowboy adventures for the wealthy Easterners to come, you know, play cowboy out in the farm. The women would dress the part by purchasing cowboy gear in denim. They would take these clothes as souvenirs back home. And some women starting to question, well, I really enjoyed wearing those clothes. Like, why not keep wearing it? There was a lot of resistance. The media painted denim clad teens as a menace. That's when Denim Council was formed to push jeans as the all American pants they are today. To turn the denim image around and it became the sort of like wholesome thing that you should dress your kids in for school. More people than ever are wearing denim. You can watch the American Experience documentary streaming on PBS, honoring the jeans that are in the DNA of the USA with the riveting history of denim. <laughs>